This video is going to demonstrate how to use the AuxFi Wi-Fi adapter for Celestron mounts. This is made by Astro Gadget. First thing you're going to do is plug this into the AUX port on your mount. Plugs in very easily. Then you turn on your mount's power. And that's really all you're going to do with the by the hand controller here. You just kind of turn that on. You don't touch the hand controller. You're going to go to your uh, device you're going to use, I'm using an iPad, and you're going to go to your settings and choose your Wi-Fi and choose AuxFi, A-U-X-Fi. Wait till it says, it'll say weak security, then wait till it says no internet connection. Then you know it's actually tried to connect. Okay, it says no internet connection, then I exit out of there. Open up your Sky Safari. I use Sky Safari Plus. I don't really need anything in the Pro. And you're going to want to go to your settings. And you want to double check your setup, telescope, and set it correctly so you can have Celestron Wi Fi. And then you're going to have mount type is your Alt as Go To. And finally, communication is. Direct Connect, top option there. Okay, you have all that set, and it's going to give you an option to just connect if you want, or connect and align. So we're going to do Connect and Align. And it takes a little bit of time to connect to it. When it does connect, we're just going to try to do the um, manual align. I have it set for manual alignment instead of sky align. You can choose in the options back where we were the type of alignment. Sky align obviously will have you go to like three objects in the sky and center them, but I'm doing a test here in my basement, so we can't do that. Okay, so it'll tell you to tap an object in the chart to select it. I'm gonna check, type on the moon. So I type, just kind of tapped on the moon there to select it. And then you're gonna use the on-screen arrows to move where the moon is. So since we're inside, we'll have to kind of fake it. I'm going to change the slew rate to four. As I move the arrow there on the side, you can see the telescope is moving. And the moon is just towards southwest. So let's assume that this direction is south. So we're going to go a little bit southwest. It's pretty low on the horizon, so we'll come down about there. And let's just say that that's where the moon is. We're going to say enter. And it's going to say, use the on-screen buttons to center the object and eyepiece and tap align. So then you hit align. So you got objects aligned, it says is one. Now you can say, do another object and go to and keep adding objects. But we're just going to say done. And it's going to tell you, you haven't completed aligning on three stars. It might not be as accurate. You say, okay. So anyway, we're on the moon down here. Now let's say you want to go to Saturn. Click on Saturn. Say go to. And then it goes to where Saturn would be. Obviously, it won't be as accurate inside when we did a, a one object align. It should go a little bit, you can see the little blue line moving to where Saturn would be. And then it'll stop. You want to go back to kind of where above where the moon was. You can see, let's go back to Altair. Oops, click on Altair, there we go, and then say go to. And it should be back to roughly above where the moon was, but quite a bit higher in the sky with Altair. You can see the little blue dot moving towards there. The nice thing with using the sky align software is objects that, you know, randomly pop in, we don't really see that often, or that's something that's just found, such as the recent comet. Um, you can update daily if you want the sky objects in the uh, sky safari. So there's the new comet that's been around lately. And you could just click on that and then say go to, and your mount would go to that comet. And then it'll be tracking on the comet. When you're all done, you would just say disconnect and you'd be done with your session. But that's an example of how the AuxFi works. I haven't tried it outside as far as distance yet. I will try that uh, on another day.